Hey, how's it going everybody? Burr Brian here and it's time to catch a buzz. So today I'm drinking a beer from Terrapin Beer Company, which is out of Athens, Georgia. And I reviewed one for this company before. It was their seasonal uh, chocolate milk stout. I'll have a link down in the description as well as one right here. Be sure and check it out. I always try to give lots of information about the uh, owners of the company and everything before. If I, if I plan on doing multiple reviews for a company, that way I can kind of make all the rest of them a little bit shorter. But uh, be sure and go and check that one out. It was a uh, very good beer. It's actually one of my favorite stouts that I've had so far. Very delicious. And, um, you know, it was an awesome company. Be sure and catch it uh, next winter season when it comes around. But the one we're looking at today is definitely a sure to be a winner with anyone who's a big hops fan. I'm a huge hops guy. Uh, you know, it just really can't get too hoppy for me. So uh, the one that they put out is called Hopsecutioner. And again, I'll have it up close so you can check it out. They really have some awesome artwork on their bottles. I absolutely love it. Uh, you know, everyone is very unique in its own way. And uh, this one is just really cool. I love the design. I love the, uh, the hops going through the chopping block with the executioner there. It's very, very cool. Uh, again, this is 7.3% uh, alcohol per volume. Uh, let's see. It is uh, the hops that are in this one. Again, there are six different hops. Uh, it is uh, Warrior, Chinook, um, Centennial, Simcoe, Amarillo, and uh, Cascade, which is a dry hop. And then the malts that are in this is uh, Two Row Pale Malt, Munich, Crystal 24L, and Victory. So uh, a lot of great hops, awesome um, you know, malts in this as well. Uh, let's see, on the side it says, Hear ye, hear ye, all hop heads, shall hear with rejoice. Terrapin hath recruited ye old hop executioner to execute the exact hop profile for this killer IPA. You may lose your hop head over this one, which again is really cool. Uh, definitely been looking forward to trying it. Let's not waste too much more time. All of the uh, reviews I've seen on this, it just got lots of, uh, lots of great marks. Let me uh, show you the pour here. head but a good amount almost a finger head on that uh, again you can see the uh, color it's I don't know I'd say it's almost an amber color it's um, it's a little bit lighter of an amber color I, I wouldn't say necessary gold when I look through the light so uh, definitely getting close to the amber on the aroma they are right you're definitely picking up the strong citrus notes that come through and a little bit of that pininess, kind of like a spruce or something, just that pine that, that kicks in. Yeah, it's got a great smell to it. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got on taste. Oh, wow, that's awesome. That is very, very good. Um, again, like I said, the IBUs on this, which is the International Bitterness Units, is at 71, which means it's an awfully bitter beer now. The more of these I drink, I'm starting to realize that I really don't seem to sense bitterness very much, or at least um, I've actually grown to really enjoy bitterness. So again, the the more bitter it is, the you know the better. In a sense, I really this one doesn't at all pucker, you know, give you that bitter beer face. You know, there was, for a long time, a lot of those crappy big beer companies would talk about the uh, the bitter beer face. You don't get that at all. There is no hardcore bitterness with this. It is very, very hoppy. I mean, strong hop, and you get some of that dry hop that comes through. It's, it's got a little bit of a dry finish to it at the end, but... Mm. It is a beautiful beer with those strong citrus notes. Mm. And again, like they say on the site, pine. Very, very good. All Like I say, a lot of the... I looked at a couple different of the forums that are out there, and everyone gave this high marks. Me being a huge hop fan, I would definitely give this high marks too. Uh, again, it would probably be easier. I may set up a new scale for beers where I do a one through five because I think that would be a little bit better with beer. And if you're not following me on Untapped, be sure you follow me on there as well as Instagram and stuff. I do a lot of pictures of the beers and stuff that I review. Um, but uh, yeah, very good stuff. I like this a lot. Um, I would I would probably give this. Um, I would say. Uh, Oh, we'll say an 8 out of 10 on flavor for me just because it's got such a uh, 
it's a great taste to it, but at the same time, it's just a, it's a little dry to me, just a little tiny bit. But uh, other than that, I mean, it's, it's a great, great tasting beer. And again, for the hops that are in it, I would expect it to be dry. But uh, anyway, let me take another... All right, good stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure and uh, follow me on Facebook if you're not already. And uh, be sure and also check out my website. There's links down below for everything, for Instagram, uh, Google+, Plus, um, Twitter, all of that stuff. I got all the social network stuff uh, lined up. And plus, my website's going to be taking a whole lot of changes here. I've kind of really neglected it for a while towards the... Uh, whole last year and I'm really trying hard to make it better. I've got a friend uh, Logan Kilborn who's uh, helping me uh, Spruce up the site a whole lot. So please be sure and go and check that out as well And uh, let me know what you think uh, again. It, it still needs a whole lot of work, but uh, so don't judge me too hard But anyway, thanks for watching everybody and as always Stay toasty my friends mm.